today is July 31st, 2018. Now, I just want to point out, if you've been watching my previous videos, I told you this was going to happen before it happened. I've been pretty spot on with all my calls. So, let's do a quick analysis on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and EOS, and the crypto market in general. So, with Bitcoin, right? <clears throat> now, right, let me grab my brush. Right around this area, right here, sorry, right around this area, I told you guys we were losing strength on the RSI. Hold on. Losing straight shot down with strength on the RSI. Straight shot down, how we're losing momentum, right? Um, let me clear this. As you can see, right here was oversold. Um, so we have this bump back up. This is an hour chart, by the way. <clears throat> and right now, momentum wise, the bears still have the momentum. It's, we have some bearish momentum down. The, the strength is bearish, right? This, the, right now, the current strength is 35 on the RSI. The volume is pitiful. We have no volume. Remember I said there's only two things that could keep the market afloat, and that is the 24-hour volume increases and more money comes into the market, more people feel safe investing. And the altcoins must do good too. Bitcoin shouldn't be the only one that does good. They all have to do good. So, as you can see, I was correct. Now, where is the price going to go? Well, that's where that's where I'm going to give an estimate in this video. I'm, I'm going to just going to go over it together, okay? So, Bitcoin as of right now, at this very moment, volume is pitiful, strength is weak, momentum is bearish um, on the exponential moving averages. As you can see, it looks like we might be bearish for the short to medium term. Okay. And another, let's look at the Bollinger Bands. It, you know, the, 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 the way the Bollinger Bands is shaped right now is very weird. You usually don't see it like this. It's almost shaped like a shovel. All right. As you can see, the Bollinger Bands contracted here. This was something about 12 hours ago, maybe a little bit longer. The Bollinger Bands contracted, which is that gray cloud covering the price candles, for those of you who don't know. Um, so the Bollinger Bands contracted. We didn't have any volume. We didn't have any new investors, any money really coming into the market at all. And as I said, as time goes on and we don't get that, those two things, the odds are it gets bearish. And that's what happened. So we see we see the collapse come in where the, the bond bands contracted. The 55-day the, the EMA went over to 8-day EMA. And from there, the bear mark, the bears took over. So as for Bitcoin, let's look at some supports and resistances to give you guys a kind of an idea. Okay, so these are my support and resistances, okay? The, the, at the top, we have 8,500. We see it, it tried to break it, but just couldn't get it. It couldn't get enough momentum. The, the bulls just did not have enough energy to keep on going. The market lost steam. So now we have a support at 7,800. 
we have a, another support at 7600. A lot of people don't include the 76. We got another support at 76. Then we got the another support at 7200, okay? So, now, if, peop, if people are going to jump into the market, the time is now. If, if we see the price of Bitcoin break 7800, okay, I think it's going to crash through 7600 and we're going to go somewhere around the 72 to 6800 range, okay? If we go below 7800, the next stop is around 72. We could stop at 76, I doubt it, but if we break 7800, we're going around to the 7200 to 6800 range. Okay? So that's if we go break below 7800. Now, in the bullish perspective, which I am not by the way, I am completely bearish, but you never know with this market. Say, let's say for instance, we come down, we try to break it, we try to hit the hit the floor right here but we fail we come back up bounce like a bouncing ball come back again fails right this is generally speaking the future if it comes back again a third time wait sorry about that now if we try to come and break this floor and we fail 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 usually if you if you try to break a support three times and you fail usually the the bullish sentiment comes in again all right so if we see it failed to break 7800 a few times chances are the 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 bulls will get some energy back they just had a rest you know you're not you know bitcoin's not set going below 7800 so it'll go up that's if that's one scenario okay so if it fails to break 7800 you know over the next few days whatever the, the bulls could definitely come back and take control of the market. But I I doubt it. Right now, I am bearish. I think Bitcoin will go to 7,200 to, to 6,800 range. Okay, if it breaks 7,800. So that's my quick Bitcoin analysis for you guys. Now, let's go to EOS. As you guys know, EOS is my favorite coin. And again, if you're getting my trade calls and listening to my videos, I told you guys to sell... I told you guys to sell your EOS, I think it was at 856, and before that I told you to sell it at 925, and we had some nice trades. I've been giving you guys my trades on EOS. And I, I, I told you guys, I had my buy order in for $7.76, right? And this was a few, this was two days before this happened, and uh, everybody was thinking that it was going to hit 10000 okay? I told you guys it was going to, the market is about to crash, it's not crash, but it's about to drop, okay? With all these bearish signals popping up. So again, a quick review over EOS. This is our candle chart, by the way. We have a straight shot down on RSI. We just completely lost mo momentum on the MACD. Um, as of right now, we still have the bearish momentum. We're a little bit into oversold territory on the RSI. Okay, on the RSI, we are at 27. The volume is absolutely pitiful. As you can see on the Bollinger Bands, we are looking pretty damn bearish. Really bearish, guys. The Bollinger Bands are just in a straight shot down, um, straight angle down. The exponential moving averages, the 55 is getting pretty far away from that 8. So that's a signal that says we could be in a bearish price range for EOS for a little bit just for the next short to medium term time period. Okay? So, super bearish. Now, let's clear that. Let me show you a scenario that could happen. Right? As you can see, the price the price candles are going like a straight shot down right now. Right? We want to see this go sideways. Right? If it goes sideways, it could two things could happen. It gives you a better chance of steam coming back into the market if Bitcoin does good, which could pull it up with it, or it could just be another bear flag forming, okay? So I believe my analysis is it's gonna go sideways for a little bit, and depending on what Bitcoin does, if Bitcoin breaks 7,800, I, th I believe we're gonna see EOS go down to about the $6.80 area, okay? 
EOS has a reputation to like, it's very difficult for it to go anything below $6. Very, very d difficult. Um, so that's one snare EOS. Okay, so I'm super bearish right now in the market. As you guys know, I already took my positions, my short positions. Um, and I, you know, I profited pretty good. I made a decent profit from this, but I'm, I'm contemplating if I should take another short position. Um, right now, I'm waiting to see what Bitcoin does. Okay, I'm gonna keep an eye on Bitcoin because like Bitcoin, the alts follow its master. So if I see Bitcoin break 7,800, I'm definitely gonna take another short. <clears throat> As for EOS, I'll do I'll do some support and resistance for you guys real quick on EOS. Okay, so this is a general areas for the supports and resistances. Okay, now <clears throat> so I believe if my analysis on EOS is the price should start to go sideways soon. Okay, now if this happens. I believe we're going to see it bounce a couple times from about the $7 to 75, 70, 80 cents area. And depending on what Bitcoin does, it can either go up to the next break the resistance, it goes straight up to about the 850 area, or it could hover in this area or go down. And the next stop down will probably be around, let me see, yeah, around the $6.80 area, $6.75. So I believe if we start seeing the market go sideways in the short to medium term, you'll probably be able to get a, 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 a few nice trades in this channel here in between the $7 and 76, 70, 75, 70, 80 cents areas. Okay, you probably um, buy, sell, buy, sell, and just follow it on out. Okay, so that's my quick analysis on EOS and Ethereum. Let's do Ethereum last. Ethereum really hasn't been getting much love guys. It really hasn't. So again, we have just straight shot down on our side. Right now we're in oversold territory. The bears still have the momentum. As you can see, over time it's just been a straight shot down in momentum. The volume is pitiful. On exponential moving averages, we have the 55 days getting farther away from eight day, which shows the bears are taking control of this market for the for the predictable future for the short or medium term. Okay. So let's do a quick analysis on EOS.
Now, just so you guys know, I can't see Ethereum going any lower than four hundred dollars, okay? But as you could right as of right now, Ethereum has come close to a key support level. Okay, as you can see, it broke the the its old support around four hundred fifty dollars that price range, um, and right now we're kind of it just bounced off the four thirty su support. So again, we could bounce around in this channel for a little bit, and depending on what Bitcoin does, remember the two scenarios I gave you on Bitcoin what it can do. Okay, but as of right now, my analysis is we're bearish. Okay. So my analysis is you could probably get a few trades if it starts going sideways for a little bit before the next bear flag, bear flag point down comes and breaks around the 430 um, support. The next, the next price range you're probably looking at is I, I would think you'd be in a good buy area around the $410 area. No, low, low, no lower than 400, I doubt it will go. Okay, so, so that's my quick analysis on Ethereum. It's looking bearish, guys. Um, the bears did get, they were hibernating while the bulls had this little mini run and now they're back, they have some strength, they've been doing push-ups. Um, yeah, so it's not it's not it's looking pretty grisly for the market, okay? Um, so yeah, any questions, just send me an email at cryptosides at protonmail.com. And remember, I will be coming up with courses soon to teach you guys. <clears throat> and another thing, don't forget to press like, smash that subscribe button, check out my other videos. I put out some very good useful information out there for you guys. And if you guys should go back and look at my previous forecast and you'll see that I've been pretty spot on with just about everything. Okay, so that's it for today guys. I just want to do a quick recap on what's going on right now. Um, tune in and I'll be coming out for some more videos soon. Thank you.